Hey guys, and welcome to Coptic Studios. This is going to be a different kind of episode. We're going vlog mode. I'm currently in Egypt, Fil Abbasayya, and I'm going to visit St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral. I'm taking you guys along with me. Roll the intro. <laughs> idea to speak about St. Mark because St. Mark is really really important to the Coptic Orthodox Church. Let's go! So we finally arrived in St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral for Labasaya. This place is awesome. So St. Mark is super important to the Coptic Church. So we'll be talking about St. Mark over two videos. In this video, we'll be talking about his history and how he brought Christianity to Egypt. And in the second video, we'll be talking about the symbolism through his Coptic icon. So, some quick facts about Saint Mark. His first name was actually John and his surname was Mark. So we refer to him by his surname, Saint Mark. And he was born in Pentapolis, which is now Libya or Tunisia, approximately five years after the birth of Christ. His house was actually where the disciples had their last supper. So Saint Mark arrived in Alexandria in Egypt in 48 AD. And the first thing he sought to do was to fix his sandals that were completely torn out from all the evangelizing and preaching that he'd done. He came across a cobbler in Alexandria called Enianos. And while Enianos was fixing his sandal, he pierced his finger and cried, Eistheos, which means, O oh, one God, in Greek. Saint Mark then took the opportunity to preach to him about the true one God. You can see just how much construction they're doing here. Everywhere is just building. So Saint Mark continued to preach in Alexandria and the number of believers in Alexandria began to increase rapidly. So he sought to build them a church. He built the first church of Alexandria in a place called Bocalia, which means place of the cows. The believers continued to pray in Alexandria for a number of years. Um, however, in 68 AD, the Feast of the Resurrection coincided with the pagans' great feast for their god Serapis. While the believers were in the church of Bocalia praying the Feast of the Resurrection, the pagans rushed in and seized St. Mark with a rope and dragged him through the streets of Alexandria. They tortured him for two whole days before beheading him on the second day of torture. The believers then took St. Mark's body and placed it in the church of Bocalia. However, his relics were then stolen by Venetians who sought to take his relics and place them inside the basilica in Venice that was currently being built at the time. However, during the construction of St. Mark's Basilica in Venice, the Venetians couldn't actually find St. Mark's body. It was only in 1094 when they found the relics. You're probably wondering how on earth they found the relics. Well, St. Mark extended a hand from a pillar and pointed to where his relics were. And every single year we celebrate this when St. Mark revealed the location of his relics. On the same day, we celebrate when Pope Paul VI delegated a small relic of St. Mark to Pope Carolus VI, who was the Pope of Egypt at this time. So currently the head of St. Mark lies in St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral in Alexandria. I was very fortunate to visit that cathedral, so I've got footage 
of where they actually have his head. Um, alongside his head, there are the relics of a number of patriarchs of Egypt. And as soon as you enter this special place, you can see a list of the names of all the popes. Um, it's, it, was really, it was really special. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of the cathedral and the history of St. Mark and him bringing Christianity to Egypt. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our new channel. Check out at Coptic Studios on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date with all our latest posts. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you again very soon.